milk is something that most of us here in the UK take for granted. It's an important source of calcium and our staple for hot drinks and cereals. I wasn't exactly sure how the whole milking process worked and I was shocked to hear that the majority of children and young adults don't even know that milk comes from a cow. To shed some light on the process, I'm off to a farm in Somerset to find out how the milk gets from the cows into our shops. I've arrived just as farmer Jeff Bounds and his assistant Wayne and his daughter are bringing in the cows for their second milking of the day. They are herded from the fields, across the road and onto the farm. And from there into a holding area where one by one they are guided into the milking bay. At Bottom Hill Farm, up to 12 cows could be milked at one time, which means that milking this herd of 80 cows takes up to an hour. The first step is to prep the teat. After wiping down with a disinfectant iodine solution, each teat is squeezed by hand to clean it out and to send a message to the cow's brain for her to release the milk. They're then wiped again to remove the iodine and any debris picked up whilst the cow is outside. Then the milking clusters are applied. These pulsate creating suction that mimics the calf suckling and the cow releases her milk. Each cow has a tag around her neck, which is remotely linked to a computer, providing information on that specific cow's milking statistics. The milk travels down a series of pipes into a refrigerated storage vat, where it is collected and taken away for processing and packaging before being sold in the shops. When the cow has finished producing milk, the clusters drop off automatically she is released from the milking bay, and another cow then comes to take her place. She can then leave, and via a little foot spa on the way out, can rejoin the rest of the herd. 